There's the new New Holland CR11. It's a class 11 combine. New Holland T9 655. I'm gonna be one to say that the Fent has the best looking booth here as far as the tractors and size of tractors. These things are mean looking. That looks a little different than ours. Center farm show. Here we come. I would say we are in the right place. Being there's a tractor with a baler, John Deere combine, and some other tractors. Well, I'm a John Deere guy, but that's a pretty sweet sprayer. I like the American flag, it's pretty cool. Patriot. We've made it to the farm show, the Kentucky Exposition Center here in Louisville, Kentucky. The sheer size of this place is phenomenal. Lights and tractors and equipment as far as the eye can see. Here's the high boy Apache. If y'all remember back from our video the other week, where we sat in the Apache at the Southern Farm Show. This one here is much taller, much bigger. This is their, I think they just come out with this square. We don't see uh, gravity or grain carts, I should say, this big around home. Oh, master. It's a Vector 390. Big old spreader. Got a new litter body on it. I think we can take our uh, litter spreader and turn it into this. We got Sierra here. I'm coming here. We're like, how many miles from home are we? Five or six hundred. Long ways. About an eight hour drive. We don't see grain carts this big around home. Especially not with tracks. We've made it to the fence. By far one of my favorites, tractors and sprayers and combines to look at. There's a hitch set up on this sucker. Planters are huge. Yes. Yeah. Need a uh, need an elevator to get into the fence here. Good gosh. Pretty good when you're standing level with the top of the car. What? I couldn't lay the door that would actually open on it. Wow. We got 80 hours on. What a cab. This has our little Wilmar beat to the floor. Stainless steel tank. Million dollars versus 10,000 for you. Hey, at least you get three months free of Sirius XM. It's got an escape patch up here. In case you flip it over. Coleman said it has 80 hours on it. I'm guessing the hours. It must have been uh, moving it around a bunch. Lord, the lights on this thing. Stainless steel tank. I got a box of sorts back here for something. I'm gonna guess this is 120 foot booms. It's got wide drops on it. Pretty awesome. I like the fence. Got a sprayer simulator here. I'm gonna simulate driving the sprayer. That is awesome.
is the Fent TNT combine. These are just mean looking machines. It's a lot more complicated than our John Deere 20, our John Deere 6620. That is for dang sure. I'm gonna be one to say that the Fent has the best looking booth here as far as the tractors and the size of the tractors. These things are mean looking. Ten ten fifty barrier. No we saw these recently on a uh, farm auction. It's called a drinking post. So what I'll do, so you're doing cattle. Fill it up. You know what you're doing. They drink it and it drains back out. Works. You need to be 18 inches below frost. And then once there's a metal rod that this paddle activates all the way down through here, water comes up. And then whenever they get done, it goes right back down to the valve. So there's very little water loss. We have seen up to $500 on the electric field say in the winter's time. How about the uh, rest of you getting in there, like they're eating hay or whatever, and they're getting trapped in there? How is that feeling? Pretty neat. They take no electricity. They're uh, frost freeze proof. Pretty economical. I think they look like about between four and six hundred dollars, depending on what you get. But you can use them for sheep, goats, cattle, horses, a little bit of everything. Except we just recently saw one on an auction group, and we'd never heard of them, but there they were. Here at the Needham Mag booth, we have a John Deere 750 drill here. It's just like ours almost, but a lot prettier. You got all their upgraded planter parts, drill parts. I like to put these spoke wheels on our machine sometime. I haven't ever bought much from these guys, but they have excellent customer service from what little bit I've spoke with them. Awesome people. Here's the new New Holland CR11. It's a class 11 combine. Unfortunately, they've got it wrapped off, ripped off so we can't get to it. It's a big old machine. I'm not a fan of yellow, but that doing this look pretty good. This thing looks about like a spaceship. When they released this, just a couple days ago? Uh, yeah. New Holland's been out for like a week. They just released this guy just in time for the farm machine show here in Kentucky. Look at the flicks in his head. New Holland T9 655. I don't know how well this shows up on camera, but that is a big tractor. You can plant, plant a crop on the hood. Auto comfort. Mm -hmm. Very nice. I think it's got our uh, John Deere 4250 beat. Let me test the buddy seat. Oh, you're in for Jack. Yeah. He can see all the way out, all the way around. I couldn't afford to fuel it, but. Why does it have carpet? It just comes up. Just a protector. This is a TYM. This is the same make as the ones we saw at Rural King the other day. This is just a, a lot bigger model. This is a T130. This one looks a lot better, well built. Now this has definitely got the old Wilmore 745 beat. That is one heck of a sprayer right there. John Deere 410R. Look at the booms. These booms look stout. John Deere, now we're talking. Now we're talking. You got a big old nice comfy seat. Nice buddy seat. Ten windows. Stainless steel tank. This is what we're talking about. 
and all sorts of little buttons to push. Sorry, they need a need buggy seat. Small some booms. Got our radio. What is this? Wow, you put like a whole book in there. There's the wife. I need one. Can we afford this on CT5 acres? We got your inductors down here at pull down so you can mix your chemicals in. This has uh, two tanks. So this is the, I think this is the CN spray sprayer. So this thing actually has cameras that you can see right here. This thing can actually see the weeds and spray them. And if you can tell, there's actually two sets of uh, boom lines there. One goes to each tank. So you can use the sea and spray fortune, which looks for the weeds and only spray the weeds. And you can also spray like a insecticide, fungicide or whatever out of the other novels. So this is John Deere's new technology. You can just drive underneath it. See all the cameras. That actually looks for the weeds and only sprays those weeds. Save a lot of money on chemicals. We've made it to the red side. This is the new Case IH AF11. As you can see, they've got ripped off, so we can't get in it or around it. But it's a big old combine. Case IH 715 quad track. This one tractor has more horsepower than every tractor on our farm combined. Like the little uh, lights under there to illuminate it, <laughs> make it look red. We've made it to the other color of green, the Deutz Far. This is a Deutz Far 8280 TTV Agritron. It's the biggest one I've ever seen. There's a front mounted three point hitch PTO down there. We don't see too many of these over here in the States. Big old cab. This thing's got a sunroof. Got a little buddy seat here. Very similar. Let's sit way back. Yeah. Left the ram mount here for your phone. <laughs> Pretty nice. So this is a mother bin. I've never seen one before. But from what we understand, you park these on the outside of the field and then your grain carts dump into this and this just stays out there for the trucks to dump into this thing holds 4,000 plus bushels which to me it looks like it would hold a lot more than that but this thing is huge never seen one never even heard of one don't see many mckells around home but this is a mckell fusion 4 plus it's a baler wrapper combined so it actually bales the bale of hay and then it, on the back side it has the uh, actually i guess here on the front side has your app and wraps the bales all in one process. It's pretty cool. It's a flashing insulator. So you just run your wire through it and then the insulator itself flashes. I don't think they can see it. I gotta eat again. Flashing insulator. They found the clouds. 740 Tryon.
That's a big old Kenzie 1121. That's a big old green cart. Some tankers. There's some healthy uh, tractor splitting equipment. This is an engine stand. It's got a gearbox on there to actually rotate the motor with. It's got a jack to level it. There's a stand you put underneath your tractor to hold one half of it. And here's just a little smaller engine stand. Can rotate the engine or the gearbox. Very nice. We found the oldies. 1566. And then a 4250 Mero with open station. That looks a little different than ours. You do not see that very often. Narrow front on that big of a tractor. Here is a Vermeer CR51200. This is what I believe is the industry's first self propelled round baler. Definitely don't see these around home. Got like swap, swivel caster wheels up front. Here's the coon booth. Almost four miles already. And it's just now, what, about lunchtime? Can't say I've ever seen a point header that flexes. It's pretty amazing. It's a green hop booth. I've seen green headers that flex, yeah. but that's pretty awesome. The corn header will flex that much. I can tell that combine of the picture back there is flexing like crazy. The Titan Tire Booth. The world's largest tires. Here's a John Deere X9. It used to be the biggest combine. LSW 1400s. Some big old tires. It's a massive combine. This is pretty neat. This is a versatile booth. It can change the pitch of the fan blades to reverse it and stop airflow flow and save fuel. That is awesome. The technology advances in farming is insane. Cummins X15. Pretty. Well, that's going to be a wrap for day one. It's been a good day. We met uh, the Joyce Brothers, Dylan and Robert. We met Matt Griggs and actually saw some people from home in Denton. Uh, anyway, we're going to go home and get something to eat. And we'll be back in the morning for more. See you then. And obviously I'm crazy and like to do things um, that get people thinking, what is she doing? But I live in the Rio Grande Valley of Texas, which is the farthest tip of Texas that you can go. So I can walk over to Mexico if I wanted to. And my husband actually farms vegetables along the border wall. And, and then for the Griggs, uh, what's, what's your show about and what do you do on it? Well, we got a little bit of content for everybody. It started out uh, just us making uh, harvest videos so I could look back 10, 20 years from now, see what our operation was like, what our equipment was like, and then uh, you know, kind of morphed into that. You know, we have a little bit of content for everybody, everything from educational, how stuff on our farm works for the general public or whatever, to, you know, what we do on the farm and more in-depth stuff for the farmers out there. We got to meet Matt and Kelly Griggs, Andy Akins, who works for Matt and Kelly. Uh, then we got to meet Michelle, uh, Ag on Wheels. Uh, y'all check their channels out on YouTube. You know, great people. Um, got great content. So y'all check them out. Uh, they're very kind to us, introducing us, talking to us. So y'all go check them out. This is a Massey sprayer. 
It's a 530 R Massey Ferguson. No GPS. Darn. Pretty nice, Kib. I think it's more the Apache. Especially the more affordable one. Try it off the green cart. This is a big Brent. $13.98. Definitely don't see these around home. It's a pot and dirt, some sort of drill. If it looks complicated on camera, it also looks complicated here in person. It's got the tillage portion up here, then you planting portions back there. You got 10 or 15 tires down it. This is a three, or I guess a two point hitch model. Terra Sim V8000. So when I've talked about front three point hitch on tractors. So as you can see, this one has a side folding mower on each side of this fence. So one on the right, one on the left. Then you've also got a mower up here on the front. You knew it was there, but you didn't know where exactly. You know what so the front three-point hitch picks the mower up, then it's got a PTO shaft that runs the front mower. So you're mowing a full swap at all times. Here's Matt Gridge, the tractor. New Holland T7-300. Pretty good looking tractor. The information. It's nice, you got your PTO controls, you turn your PTO on and off, raise and lower your three point and your, uh, I guess, one set of remotes. Very nice. <laughs> Bring it on in here. It's Tony Ridge Farmer. <laughs> so, what's your name? I'm Luke. Luke. Luke Ruth. What's your YouTube channel? Ruth Farms. Ruth Farms, all right. Yep. What do you like? What kind of, y'all got cows or what you got going on? We got some cows, some sheep, row crops. All right. It's all small. Right. It's small. It's small? Yep. It's all right. Good deal. How long anyway. have you been making YouTube videos? That's since May. Since May? End of May. June. You got, got 10,000, 50,000 subscribers already? My, my wife, every day, she's like, you're going to have 10,000 tomorrow. We're wasting time. What are you doing out there? <laughs> wasting time. Stick nah, with we're, it. Nah, we're like 1,200. Oh, that's good. That's awesome. Yeah. Good. Is she your camera person all the time? You got to turn the camera around. Hey, I'm a lady. Hello. <laughs> no, she don't ever film. It's pretty much just me, myself, and I. Right on. Cool. Who's this fellow? That's my brother. Okay. Yep. Right on. I've been Come following on you. Come on in. Been following you since she's pretty small. Yep. Yeah. Where all you fencing videos. Yeah. Oh, fencing competitions. Yeah. So I followed you since you done chainsaw reviews on a steel chainsaw probably four or five years ago. Nice. Well, it's good to meet yeah. you, man. Good meeting you. Thank you. We've uh, yeah. I've been. I've been figuring we'd meet you one day. I like the cold box. Okay. Or the lantern or whatever. Subscribe. Well, that's all she wrote for the National Farm Machinery Show here in Louisville, Kentucky, 2024. Uh, we, I think I can say for all of us, we had a blast. Got to meet a lot of awesome people. Meet, got to meet uh, uh, Griggs Farms, Dylan Joyce Farms, Ag on Wheels, uh, How Farms Works, Stony Ridge Farmer, Brian's Farming Videos. Who do we miss? Everybody? All great people. All seem to be really nice. Uh, we'll be back next year unless something happens. It's been a blast. We've saw all kinds of equipment. Appreciate y'all watching. Y'all have a great one. God bless. As Stony Ridge Farmer said, subscribe.